All right, I'm down here on Sunday. I normally don't work on Sunday or play with my clay on Sunday. I, this has never worked. This is just fun. And uh, so I'm down here because I got this thing working on my mind and I got to do it. The last thing I thought on Friday's video was of having hair coming down across her face here and across her neck. And I got to thinking, I really got to work on that. And so I've, I'm down here and I'm looking at the piece, trying to see what I can do to sort of make it feel like the wind's blowing a little bit on this side and kissing her cheek, you might say. Um, if you notice, I've got a stick in here and that's supporting this uh, shawl that's being blown up. I notice that after a while, Without that support in there, the shawl would just gradually droop. And I don't want a droopy shawl. So I'll be right back and I'll show you what I'm doing. Time to play with some clay. doing is I'm cutting back on the hair just a little bit on this side. I had it sticking out a lot further, but uh, this new direction works out fine for changing a little bit of the hair on this side. I'm going to have the hair kind of blowing over just a little bit as well. So I'm going to work that in. There was a time that I absolutely refused to do cute statues. And this is really what it is. It's kind of a cute idea. And I'm I'm not into cute, but I like the feeling this gives. And uh, I don't think it's a bad thing to do a romantic type of piece every once in a while. And this is what I consider this to be a kind of a romantic clay. I don't mind that. Everybody needs a little romance in their life, right? Besides, what better way to spend a person's 78th birthday <laughs> than to be down here playing with what he loves to do? Nothing else going on today. So I figured I'd come down here and at least enjoy my day. I still won't be here tomorrow, but uh, I am today. Of course, that all may change too, I don't know. Okay. I got to redo the uh, collar again. Besides, what better way to spend a birthday than with your friends? And I consider all of you that uh, follow my videos my friends.
for those of you who are young and wondering what it's like to be 78 years old, it's not much different than when I was 30. I just can't do as many things as I used to do. Also, um, I can't use the same bath soaps I used to use because your skin gets sensitive and it causes you to itch if you got uh, the bath soap that you used to use. I know that might be more than you want to know, but your body changes. And uh, things you were able to do once, you can't do anymore. And uh, I'm not sad about it. I just have to accept it. Life changes. And you know that you're not going to see 20 or 30 years more, maybe. You could. But uh, the possibility of that isn't as great as it was when I was 30. And, uh, but you'll learn to live with that too. I can't run up the stairs like I used to. I used to jump down three steps at a time and uh, go up two or three steps at a time, but I can't do that now. I don't have the balance that I had back when I was 20 or 30. Okay, I think I like that. What I don't like are the buttons I got. I think I'm going to redo all these buttons. Because I think they're too big. They look clownish. I need to make them smaller. You still got to make it so that it blends in with the face, even though you're framing the face with this hair, but you don't want it too thick. And you got to also keep it close to the skin so that uh, they can cast it. I think that looks pretty damn good.
I think I might be getting too much now. I'll leave it at this. That doesn't obscure this beautiful view right here. And it complements the view here. Now it's a matter of doing the hair going down the side. Okay, a little change of the direction as far as uh, her face and the design of this piece. And uh, I kind of like it. It complements the face nicely. Okay, I'm going to bring this hair right over the back of the ear and across there. That's, that's not too much. I think that's just perfect. And I'll blend all this in next week. I got the ear there, which is nice. And uh, I think it frames her face in nicely. And when I get done working on this part, it'll all make sense. All right, good night, everybody. The kiss of spring. Kiss is covered by a little bit of hair on the cheek, though. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> See you Tuesday. Go. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.